Hey guys, it's your girl Rusty here. Um, I uh, I've been gone for a week. I've been at a workshop, um, basically on viral videos on how to create and explore and share uh, viral videos in this new tech economy market share. And I am just so excited. I learned so much. Um, we go. Uh, my Drake meme video had a lot more um, shares than usual, um, or not shares, views. And so a company called um, Copen, Hague, or Cop Copel Industries, um, who's a parent company of Tobin, uh, no, of, of this coffee company. Anyway, they had a camp going on for up-and-coming comedy stars like me um, who do cool, weird, Andy Kaufman, anti-comedy, humor, Andy Kaufman, and uh, so I said yes, they bought me a ticket to their offices in Port Arthur, and we were off, and you know, I met a bunch of great people who, I met uh, the insane up-and-coming viral video star, uh, Jackson Wallace was at the camp, um, and we hit it off, um, you know, we have a little bit of competition, but, you know, we drank our mead, we said our prayers, uh, we're, J Jackson and I are both Christians, but we both like to read stories about Vikings and all kinds of, if you're, if you know, if you like Viking stuff, we were talking about how on Columbus Day, we were like, hello, Eric, you know, that Viking Eric guy, uh, discovered America first, and it was just really fun, and we were drinking mead and just singing, and cups and stuff we had plastic cups with stuff and drinks in them and and so but we got to the hard kind of the hardcore uh, learning about what makes a video funny and interesting and what I really discovered is it's all about taking what's going on in the culture and in our I in our economy and condensing it into a if you're doing vines which I found out about vine into like a 10 second video, which there's some beautiful boys and girls doing vines, which is hilarious, and they're total stars. Um, or you can do longer videos that are comedy based, or either, I'm gonna start doing prank videos, I have to get all the permits, because I thought when you did old prank videos were like, you know, get a camera and you like pull down an old lady's underwear and tickle her and stuff. But I found out that really you have to get permits. It's like a whole, it's basically like a normal movie, and you basically get the people to agree to pretend to be shocked and freaked out by a rubber snake or whatever. But you have to get them to sign all that um, and pay them. And so they're basically just actors, and I had no idea. But that's so much better because old school pranking where you're, it's where you're hurting someone's feelings and you're showing their butt on TV with all the pimples and stuff is just awful. You know, you should hire a model who agrees to it and you throw a rubber snake in her face. So prank videos I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start doing fake makeup tutorial videos where I uh, do like a it's supposed to look good but it really looks bad type of video. I've done one before but it wasn't high quality enough. Uh, I'm going to start doing videos where uh, the editing is all choppy and bad on purpose. Um, and just lots of Andy Kaufman, anti-Tim... Tim Eric, they showed lots of Tim and Eric, and they said, you know, watch this, take notes, DJ Doug Pound editing and everything, but don't ever admit that you've seen or watched Tim and Eric and say you basically hate it and you've never seen it, which is what a lot of people like to do, and I agree, because I had never seen, ever seen Tim and Eric, ever. I'd never seen Tim and Eric, ever. Um, and so, anyway, the part this is a part one blog about comedy blog viral camp uh and you'll see part two tomorrow